Today's adventure begins as the recording of this Wednesday, March 27, 2024. Exiting the bubble. You see the Celebration Water Tower over there, also known. People that live in Celebration say they live in the bubble. I'm on 192 at the moment. Starting off here at the Bonnet Creek Station bus stop. Each of these bus stops have a different name. And this one just so happens to be Bonnie, oh no, Bonnet. Not Bonnie, Bonnet Creek. I never realized that before. Bonnet Creek. There's a water fountain here. No soliciting. You could be arrested or fined. Got a piping hot caffeinated beverage from a different Starbucks I don't usually go to. The Starbucks I got my coffee from this morning is right over there. So I want to show a couple things right around here to start off the day. Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here. Yes, that is a leaf blower taken to the next extreme. They follow me everywhere. I'm inviting you to join me. I'm not waiting for the bus. I parked my car right over there to start the video here. Oh, that's good. Also, I had I put almond milk in this. I said, it's something a little better than regular cream or regular milk. I said, how about almond milk? So they put a little almond milk in here and a little regular sugar. I still can't do the raw sugar. I do the just the traditional packets of sugar in the bottom of it. Two sugars in here. Probably should have got one, but Starbucks, it's pretty bitter coffee in comparison to Dunkin'. I can get away with one but a large this, I'm getting there. I've also stopped the lattes. I haven't had lattes in a couple months. Doing pretty good on the lattes. Join me. Something closed right over here. It's gone, another thing has gone by the wayside on Highway 192. Shall you? It's always fascinating to me, these, the signage. Around the back of the signage are all these coupons. I've pointed these out before. I really don't know how many people utilize these. I'm sure they probably toss a lot of these when Weather, bad weather rolls through and these things probably leak and get wet on the inside. But they have the I Love Orlando, the Enjoy Florida coupons, hot deals right down there. Next to the gift, oh, Cash Cow coupons. And here is a Ma America's Favorite coupon book out of all of them. That's America's Favorites. Look at this. Oh, this is interesting. Number eight coincides with mile marker eight, which is right here. So I live at Highway 192, I don't know if it's mile marker, but marker eight. Disregard what I said about mile marker, but marker eight is celebration. I believe there is a marker down there. I'll see if I can get closer to it. Not authorized anymore. The ticket outlet's closed. You can see it right over there. You got the little for sale sign in front of it. Ticket outlet, authorized. Closed. I've ridden my golf cart up and down 192, but I've never taken it across this bridge. I don't know if this would be structurally sound to really take the cart across. Usually I'll just ride it over there, the pavement. Oh yeah, this thing's creaking a little bit. There is a random golf cart, not golf cart, a random, good thing it's not a golf cart, a random cart of the non-golf persuasion right over there in the water. There it is, marker eight. The celebration marker. Highway 192 has these markers up and down it. And I am closest to marker eight. Even though no one ever mentions these markers ever. They were put up for a purpose and the purpose really isn't served. If you ask anyone here in town or along Highway 192, hey, where is this attraction? Where is the store? Where is this restaurant? Most people will not even mention the markers. They will just tell you, oh, it's right next to something else, or, you know, you, they'll use landmarks over the markers, but it was a good idea in theory. Close up of the shopping cart. Submerged. like the style and the theming of the shopping center with the architecture over there kind of on the side of that other building where the gifts and t-shirts were less and the New York Bagel and Pizza Company. 
this ticket outlet's always neat. It's been empty for a long time. But there's a restaurant right here in this little, little shopping center area, strip mall, that is closed as of yesterday, I believe, or the day before. I always thought this would be a great little store to have. Not that I'm gonna open a store, but just in theory. Just thinking out loud. Tijuana Flats, right over there, has closed its doors officially non-existent across from Celebration anymore. Goodbye, Tijuana Flats. I ate there a few times. It definitely was not in my regular rotation of places to eat. But I do love a little Tijuana Flats, Tex-Mex. But it is officially closed. Here we go. This location is closed. Please visit our O-Town location, Palm Parkway, or Champions Gate location at 827 Champions Gate Boulevard. That is a mess. Champions Gate 27 is that the traffic is out of control through there. It was kind of nice having this here. Again, I did not frequent it enough. Maybe that was part of the problem on it not being open. They're in there right now dismantling stuff. Kind of peeked in the window. The little logo there of the skull. Hang. Another one bites the dust. Drove down 192 a little bit, found a parking spot, and I am now on Shingle Creek Regional Trail. Kind of gives a layout of the land here. I am here at the Welcome Center and parking. Haven't been in the Welcome Center in probably 10 years. I'm gonna check it out right here along Shingle Creek. In fact, they have the garbage cans that you see a lot of times in like Smoky Mountains and other areas that are made for bears. So these garbage cans, you don't really see these in Florida too often. In fact, I don't know if I've ever seen one in Florida. But this is so the bears cannot get inside the, the garbage. Are there bears around here? Unless they can get their paw in there and open it up. Shingle Creek's right over there. And a welcome center. Oh, look at that. A small plane. Be a nice little path to take your bike down. Well, this one's got a lock on it. Yeah, no one's gonna steal that. It's got a lock on it. Nice little trail there. There, this is the Shingle Creek Station. You can see the little bus stops over there. Again, it's probably been a decade since I've been in here. I remember it being pretty neat though when I was in there. Got a pretty good display, interactive walkthrough display, unless it's changed since then. One thing you do not want to do if you see a gator, especially of this size, well, any gator, any size, do not poke the alligators. I just heard a dog bark. All right, I made it in. Also, the County Historical Society, established 1949. The theming of the sounds. Got the cypress knees, the cypress trees. This oh, oh my lord, that actually kind of frightened me. So warthog over here. Yeah, this is awesome. I think they're just friends. They're just they're just playing. I love the sound effects. Rolling on the river.
Ooh, there's a little snake down there. Also a turtle over there, a turtle shell over there, but watch out for that snake. Shingle Creek in 1873, pioneer settlement of Shingle Creek, Opus Cypress Mill gained the region's first post office. Piece of artwork over here tucked away down the hallway. So you got the rodeo there. You got a monorail up top. You got Spaceship Earth. You got an airplane, probably symbolizing MCO. You got some pelicans. Small communities of early Osceola County. Keenansville. Been out to a lot of these spots. Peghorn, Shingle Creek, Narcusi. We're just out there recently. Yeehaw. Take a look at this. Oh, this is a good photo before that truck smashed into it years ago. The Desert Inn. The historic Desert Inn. That is a great classic photo right there. Hole Paul. nest up there. Thomas J would not be comfortable here. Hornet's nest. Lawrence Silas. This place is really, really cool. Definitely worth stopping off if you're passing by. Really neat. Oh dang, Armadillo Reds, one of the first, if not the first tattoo shop in this in Osceola County in the Kissimmee, St. Cloud, Kissimmee area, has moved. Now I think their, their original spot was not this one, but this has been here since the 90s. In fact, I ended up getting a tattoo here, one of my mini tattoos, years and years and years ago. Got a few over at the one closer to downtown as well. But this has been kind of a staple here on Highway 192 across from Medieval Times for many, many years. Let's see what this shows. Moving to new location on Broadview Drive in Kissimmee. Yeah, there you go. changes to the landscape of Highway 192. While I'm over in this neck of the woods, might as well go by Target. Get a few things that I could utilize. While I'm out and about. Not the most exciting stuff purchased, but a few necessities and non-necessities. All right, continuing on. Oh, look at this. It actually is a Target right there. That's fun. It's always fascinating to me how trees will grow around telephone poles and electric wires. See how the, the, the limbs have split around the side of it there? I don't know. It's just always, always fascinating. You see this everywhere you go. Evidently when a tree's smaller than this, just somehow it, it will fork off to the side. It doesn't want to have to mess with the electricity. Fascinating. Also, while I'm out and about, you go by Hope Thrift over here. See what I can find.
I remember these popping up. Well, not these particular ones, but when I was younger, I used to have to mow, mow the yard. Not fun. Just brought back like a core memory. My mowing days. The big bag's the biggest bag of popcorn I've ever seen. Gourmet popcorn handcrafted in small batches. Look how big that is. For five bucks for that huge bag, Farmer John's popcorn. Never heard of this game. Las Vegas Junket. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Interesting. They also have Mousetrap. Ah, interesting. Any night you want, no reservations needed. It's like an old game. A lot of trivia pursuit in there too. A lot of figurines in here, buy one get one free or half off. It's like a little vase there, you can put some flowers in. Break it, you buy it. Didn't find anything. Looks like these former businesses have been kind of taken over by the Rock Church. I think they, they now have no longer businesses from the little strip mall next to the dollar store in Hope Thrift, but the Rock Church is now utilizing that empty building, that, well, that empty storefront, that one, that one, that one, and that one. All right, back home now. Did not have the best luck yesterday being a D23 Gold member for the Expo, or the ultimate fan, Disney fan event, they are calling it. So now, I'm doubling down. I got the phone open. I'm also curious maybe if it would be quicker and better today so yesterday was for gold members that did not help me out at all but today is for visa card holder members which i am a visa card holder so got it here on my computer and also on my phone and see if that helps now i've had the website minimized in the pre-line all morning and I am number 1,307, which is pretty dang good if you ask me. I only have 1,306 people in front of me. So I think my options are pretty good on the phone. Considerably different on the computer. What the heck? What a wild difference. Look at the computer. My place in line on my laptop, 44,530 people. I have 44,529 people in front of me. I think I'm going to go with the phone. Complete polar freaking opposites. I mean, one is in the thousands and one is in the 44,000s. How? It must just be random. Got my chase card in my wallet all ready to rock. I have, I have a good feeling about this. Today might be my day. All right, yet another massive problem. So my time in the queue was ready to go. And it has me signing in. I have gone through this process five times. It's not letting me log in. I even signed out of the laptop. It says, your time is ready, sign in. I try to log in and it boots me right back to this. What the heck, man? I even click cart there and nothing happens. It doesn't even go to show that the cart's empty. It's just, this system is so failed. I have good and I have bad news. The bad news is I'm not gonna be able to take this on the commute cost cross country to Anaheim for D23 2024 happening at the Anaheim Convention Center property next door to Disneyland. I am, however, able to go because I ended up getting tickets. Don't know how it worked out, but I was able to log in and I have tickets to D23 Expo, formerly called D23 Expo. Now it's called something else, but it's the same thing. Whew. Stress freaking overload. Thankfully, I was able to, on the on my phone, because I was number 13 or 1400, as opposed to 44,000 on the desk on the laptop, 
which on my desk, so a desktop, but it's technically a laptop that's connected to a, a monitor that's on my desktop. You get the idea. Had to log out of that, was on the phone, X'd out of the 43,000 people that were in front of me for day number two of trying to get the tickets. Everyone else I knew that did not get them yesterday were all 30 and 40,000 people behind me. Luck of the draw. Very unusual how they do all that. And in order for me to sign in on my phone, as I was trying, as I described trying to sign in, I had to go back into the laptop, go to the D23 site, sign in there, and then it automatically signed me into my phone, which made me able to buy the tickets. So if I would have been out and about on my phone, I would not have been able to log in. Even though I booked the tickets on the phone, I had to log in on the computer. What the heck is wrong with the system? So, three day passes, for this, the rest of this video is going to be about D23, which is happening the 9th, 10th, and 11th of August this year out in Anaheim. The 10th, the parks panel, the big one, where all the parks announcements are announced, is going to be on my birthday, on my 50th birthday. I will be there Friday and Saturday. The three-day passes, from what I'm being told, completely sold out, even before general admission tomorrow for regular guests go on sale. No one's even going to have the ability to, to purchase them. Again, what is what a system. Over, overly popular this year. Disney has just kind of grown to the point where it's very difficult to get, to get any tickets to anything anymore. But I ended up piecing together my weekend. I have Friday and Saturday, two of the three days. So I'm going to be going to D23, the first and second day, and both the panels at the Honda Center. Ugh. I'm excited. That was an incredible roller coaster of emotions, knowing that I had only 1,200 people, 1,300 people in front of me, and then getting in there. Then it tried to boot me out of the system. Then it let me back in the system. Then I tried to log in with my password, use the correct password, try to log in between five, six, seven, eight times. Thought this is not going to happen. And then did the little thing where I signed in on the laptop and then my phone automatically just reconnected to purchase the tickets. And then I wasn't able, not, none of the seating for the Honda Center was showing up for the three day. There were no three days available. So I had to piece together the Friday and, and the Thursday or the Friday and Saturday. Did not purchase the third day Sunday. I figured two full days, 48 hours of D23 is enough for me. Maybe I'll go to Disneyland on the following day on that Sunday or maybe I'll just wander around the property. Nonetheless, I as a, it was like, Peeking up, peeking up, peeking up. I'm gonna get these. I'm gonna get. Yesterday was like wimp, 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 and then today was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then and then back up. Whoa, it's gonna happen. And then and now I've leveled off. So a couple months ago, I booked my hotels and accommodations and all that kind of stuff for the event that's gonna transpire out there in Anaheim. That I've been talking about. So there was a little bit of a worry that it wasn't going to work out. But I'm glad it did. Because it would have been really awkward to be out there and not be able to get in. Also, I saw some cypress, fake cypress knees earlier at the Welcome Center. Here's some real ones. That's gonna do it for today. See you in the next video. The vlog is over. Squirrel. Bonus footage. You dropped it, squirrel. He hung onto a little bit of it. Okay, see ya.